Good morning, Dane. How are you doing? Where morning, are we at? Uh, so I got all the cells out. I got the brackets out. And there's one bracket that's annoying, but we'll worry about that later. Have to drill it out or something. And then uh, all these high voltage lines and charger cables, we'll have to see if they still function. This is for the uh, J70, J177 socket. Don't exactly remember the name of it. But yeah, it's for the socket there. We have to see if that still works. But everything other than that and some cleaning, uh, you could throw some cells in here, wire it up, and uh, you, we'll have to change these terminations so they actually work with our setup for our batteries. And then they also had an older style uh, cam uh, BMS connection essentially. So it's cell taps. How are we doing with the cells in the back? That's a lot less fun. So they had a plastic guard over the top of them. Tons of spiders as well, if that's anything to note for. And uh, a lot of them are unfortunately corroded or just spent. And a lot of them are uh, rounded out. Since they're all Allen heads, it's kind of a tricky thing. So I had to, I had to break one off, but all of these cells uh, have like zero volts in them. Probably the highest that I've seen is 0.2 millivolts. So really no danger of shock. So that's nice. Um, What's next once you remove these bad boys? Next we'll have to take out the, the supporting all thread that they had to tighten them down with the uh, plastic brackets down on the floor there. Uh, after that, clean it up, vacuum up, uh, take out the the old existing auxiliary 12 volt battery, which is down here, Duralast, dead, no volts at all. And then there's another uh, charger over here for your, uh, that's your DC to DC, so it charges the 12 volt battery, but since it's been dead for so long, doesn't really help us now. Okay, thank you. I'll be back soon.